Hi guys, we're back online and I have yet to to start my Erdan Arena account, so you will see a black screen here, but I will start in a minute. Let me see. Erdan Arena, where is the game? Should be here. Here he is. So let me entered game okay we are live I think so no one is here yet so guys welcome back to my channel I'm sorry but last week as you probably noticed I wasn't here I wasn't in, at home I was working so I skipped a few streams I'm sorry for that but this week we're gonna compensate so mm -hmm, are we ready yeah okay we are Okay, I will wait for someone to join us. Oh, Gianluca, Rico. Okay, hi Shaggy, long time on see. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, but last week I was really, really busy and I didn't find the time to stream. Anyway, guys, are you ready for Torment? This week is Nihan's week again. Let's buy Torment here. Oh, it's in Italian, the game, so I will... Okay, okay, I will talk about Torment in a minute. Let me put the correct language on this game. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So, Torment. Torment is the card of the week. It's this crazy, crazy Nihon Marauder Demon. Very good combination. Uh, Nihon, Nihon, uh, Nihon Demon Marauders. Multi-hitters are always a great addition. So, Torment. First skill is absolutely crazy. A tiny backstab, not so, so high in, in uh, numbers, but still effective. Backstab 180, and then dodge 5. 5, guys! Torment is a massive dodger. And she is a she, she is, yeah, 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 it's a she. Uh, she will be a pain in the ass for every 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 heavy hitter or uh, hybrid heavy multi-hitter out there so this first skill is absolutely crazy backstab 180 and dodge 5 great suppressive power followed by single red fireball 250 very cost effective very good skill very good and later four times hit 180 for a red and a blue a standard multi-hit feature uh, 160 strength base that's very good. So, as for the um, seal, now, uh, if you trigger at least two times this uh, blue um, skill here, the third one, Torment will definitely be, be uh, better with the damage seal. That's for sure. Uh, so, I think the best seal for her probably is the damage seal, even though the combination between dodge Backstab and Fiber makes uh, this card really, really good as a, uh, a passive threat. As a, you know, one of those cards like um, maybe, I don't know, useful in different situations. So maybe a skill like, um, sorry, a, a seal like Resilience can be also very good. The, the synergy between Fireball and Dodge and Resilience, that's very good. So I'm a bit, hmm. I don't know. I think most of the time, if you will not... Oh, Chichis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm ready, but I have to go to gym. Yeah, Shaggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those guns needs pumping. So, um, as I was saying, if you roll two times that blue, then you want to apply those damage seal. But in the all the other cases, probably resilience is better so i will try something different so damage is perfect for torment so if you want to put um damage you're fine it's great seal but i will try her with resilience just a bit more technical hi maria christina markets molina technical style for this card now let's go today i will not have a long time to stream so let's dive into this new card 
So we will try a standard Nihant deck. We will have as okay, Chichis, Chichis is not okay. White car. That's a good one. White car synergizes well very well with Dormant, to be honest with you. So I will try this one. This is this is a good combination, I think. I will try with hmm, fifth card should be hmm, oh why not? I will try with Death Three. Yeah, that's an interesting team. Let's go with it. Hello ADC says Dennis V love you man. But to be honest, I think this wrist card looked like a horse. <laughs> okay. I I don't see it uh, a horse. I don't know, maybe, maybe. She has something of a horse. Now, we are in Silver League, and in Silver League, as you guys already know, there is everything, and every team that's uh, slightly synergic and uh, plays with good cards will basically always win. So, if you are in Silver League and you're stuck there, just throw a synergic and uh, easy-to-play team with good cards, and you're good to go. Now, Silene. Oh, oh, you, <laughs> you're here. So, 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 Silene is strong against us. Very strong, to be honest with you. So, I don't know. I think... Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with Death 3, <laughs> the Malteser, and I will sacrifice our Death 3. Silene is gonna win. That's, that's a given. But we will have... White Ka and Abigor really, really strong now. Now the problem is, this team is probably um, a powder team since Hook is there and Ganso is there and Sileni is there. So we need to spare our uh, backstabbers and stenchers for later. Now we have a White Ka that's gonna be uh, pretty useful, and we have the new Torment, but. I don't know. It's not gonna be easy, so I will go with White Card here. The goal here is to win against probably Hook. That's the most. And to buff again Abigor. Abigor will become really, really strong. Okay, he will come at me with Mazamune. Hmm. So that stair will not be so effective. <laughs> That's a good move for from, from him, I think. Yeah, I need yellows. Oh, I don't have yellows. Okay, okay, I have a perfect roll. Hmm, he does not have a perfect roll, so I will probably win. And that's that's good for me. I will not buff very much with stench, just a tiny bit. But torment should be able to beat easily hook, and maybe even Ganzo. I don't know. Okay, that's a win. Now we are in control. Against Hook, we need something. Hmm. I think Chichis can win against Hook, even though. Yeah, I will try to win with Chichis. If we can win with Chichis, then we will have a good chance, solid chance to win this game. Let's try it this way. If we lose, it's gonna be bad, but... Oh, it's a good roll for him. Hmm. Yeah, it's dangerous here. He can win. I, I, I'm not sure. This matchup is... Yeah, probably he's gonna win. GG, Malteser. Wide resilience seal. Um, that's because... Uh, oh, oh, no, we, we won. Barely, that's good. I will explain to you why. Torment is very good, of course, with... And I will go with Torment here. It's very good, of course, with the damage seal, but only with the rolls uh, with uh, two blue. In any other case, resilience is better. So I decided to go for a more tactical style for this card. I don't want her to be a brute force card. Ooh, perfect roll here. Of course, shock will damage us, but but we will 
we will dodge all the shield uh, all these sorry um, swords so that's that's very good so powerful shock will hit us but okay 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 um, so I wanted torment to be um, a tactical hero, not a powerful one. I don't need raw output on her. Uh, I think there are better multi-hitters uh, as for output goals. Chichis is better. Um, every multi-hitter with a single red, uh, two or three hits, it's better. So I want yeah, GG Malteser. <laughs> um, let's fight again with this one, then we will change them. Uh, so I prefer to go for the... Oh, again, Malteser, the rematch here. Okay, so I preferred uh, to go for Resilience, but damage is also very good. But especially if you want to play Torment without Abigor, then I think Resilience is slightly better. Unlucky man. <laughs> yeah. Now, Ganso. Ganso is strong, guys. It is strong. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go again with a sacrifice here for death 3. Yeah, I will sacrifice it in order to buff. Okay. Buff Thor Torment and Abigor. Now look at Torment now with Resilience, Dodges, Backstabs, Fireballs and Thorns. It's a great, great value here. Much more dangerous than a simple boost on output. Now, with Resilience she is good against both multi-hitter and with dodge heavy hitter also against sword users, so it's kind of kind of interesting, to be honest. Now, let's go with White Car. There's, a, there's the possibility here that we will lose with White Car and then the game will be tough. Okay, Hook. He decided to go for Hook. I don't know. I think we have the upper hand here. Hmm. Okay, perfect roll. Okay. We will stench a lot our friend Hook. It's gonna be good. Now, <laughs> Torment is basically a, I don't know, a Swiss knife. She can do everything now. That's very good. I really like this kind of style for a card. This game is gonna be ours, guys. I'm sorry, Malteser, but I just really need seals. Yeah, yeah, you need seals. With seals, it would have been a different game, that's for sure. Now, basically, Torment can easily beat Masamune and Silene. Radamas is slightly more difficult, but not so much. We should be able to win against, yeah. Against Silene should be an easy win with Torment here. Yeah, we just need to trigger another red and it's gonna be GG easy. Yeah, perfect rule. Very good. By the way, was there a new episode? No, it was. It, uh, it's. I'm sorry for that. Since Hero is a great card, I really like it. I, I hope I will be able to um, make up for that. Um, absence of that video, maybe this week, I don't know, I think it's a great card. Um, <laughs> if not, don't you think it looks like my mom? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know your mom, but uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, now, sorry, but I have to think now. Okay, problem is here, Abigor, mm, we are not safe yet. We are not safe yet. Abigor is so strong, but... I don't know. I will go with Abigor here, but Masamune is gonna be tough to beat. Anyway, last week I was out for work for the uh, entire week, so I wasn't able to stream. Okay, maybe... Yeah, I will try to avoid, okay, I will go with this one, it's, mm, he's gonna win, 
I will not activate his repost, but it's not gonna be enough, I think. Mazamune is a tough opponent. Opponent, sorry. Yeah, very good. Thanks to the. Okay, now that's a, that's a close one. I think he has a chance to win. Okay, we have a great roll. Another oh, perfect roll. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think we're gonna win. He does not have a perfect roll, and we have one. So very good. Chichis is a great card. One of the best cards for the Nihans uh, so far, I, I think. He's so versatile. He almost always win. I, I don't know. He is so strong, even unbuffed. Look at that. Great, great. Now let's change the team and resume a different type, a different archetype from the Nihans. GG, yeah. Uh, let, let's go for a demon team. Let's try where is a demon team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so Soul Chewer is our buffer here. And we're gonna play with. Oh, Ash is good. Why not? And I want another multi-hitter. Oh, I will play with Envy. Envy is a card I really like. Uh, it's, it's so fun. So I will play with it. Maybe now she needs a buff in terms of numbers. But it's um, nevertheless a, a really, really useful card. Okay, J-Wet. We have another strength team. Sure sucks. BS... Yes, he is. Sim, you're busy with life now that yeah, I am. Now, BS? What's BS? I don't know. Uh, anyway. Mm -hmm. I will start with Abigor. The reason behind my... Okay, I wanted to win against Marsama or sacrifice Abigor against one of these two uh, heavy and powerful standalones. So I'm fine with that okay he is brave so let's try a full fireball blood sword oh yeah 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 blood sword is better uh, you're right i will try with the blood sword the next uh, next game also blood sword has has been buffed uh, recently so she's good okay ah, okay abigor won with that roll Nehans are always tough. Oh, hero! Here is hero. <laughs> yeah, I really think he's. <laughs> he looks like the mom of Dennis B. <laughs> I don't know. Can we beat Mastema with Soul Chewer? Yeah, we can. I think so. So let's go. We need a good roll, and we have one. Another red or another yellow, and that's fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I hope your mom doesn't look like you're the champion, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> also, I, I hope your mom does not um, go outside dressed like you're the champion. Anyway, you is a great card. I, I haven't um, had the chance to play him yet since I wasn't able to play uh, this um, this weekend, but but I think is it's a good addition, a good addition to the Kotobas here. So, we won. I will go with Torment. Torment will be great against both Melee and Hero and also Jiang Piao, thanks to the dodges and backstab, backstab, so... Okay. Okay. Ooh, another red, please? Nope. Let's go for this one. Okay. Bam. Okay. So, oh, oh, oh. Mm. hero, oh, okay, yeah, his shock is gonna be really too much for our torment. Torment is good, but hero is is very good. So now, what's the 
catchy. I will go with Ash. I will try to use my dodges. Oh, single dodge. Hmm. Let's try it this way, but it's not gonna be easy. Melee is so fucking strong. Yeah, we will dodge the first one, but the second one will hit us hard. Yeah, look at that. Fortunately, we have a good amount of buff. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, maybe we can win. Yeah. Very good. Ash is another card I really like. Now, thanks to the for the su suggestion, and I will try Bloodsword here. So we will try Torment in a different environment. This this time in um, Marauder team, maybe without the Colossus. So, let's go for Marauders. Oh, not only Demons, please, but all the Marauders. Okay, so... Hmm. So, Bloodsword, where is she? That's the, the one. Then, hmm. Mystic Slayer. Yeah, Mystic Slayer is great. Why not? And then... I want something... Oh, Chi-Chi's. I will play with Chi-Chi's. That's for sure. And then... Mystic Slayer. I don't know if it's OP. It's a good card. Uh, I don't think it's OP, to be honest with you. But definitely a good one. We need something solid. Something easy to predict. Hmm. I want something, not something dangerous, but, hmm, let me see. It's good, but not a multi-hitter. Eglantine, no, I don't, I really don't like Eglantine, to be honest. It's a great, powerful card, but, no, I prefer Ash again, yeah. I really don't like the cards that are... Uh, that have um, rules, just attacker, pure attackers, pure defenders, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable in a team without a Colossi to use something like Eglantine. Oh, it's you, Rex! Okay, so, that's cool. So, let's go for Ash here against She. Maybe, with some dodges, we can do something good. Okay, let's hope. Oh, bad, bad, bad roll. No Colossian, that's what it... Oh, what's happened? If you had to nominate the OP award of the strongest preview card last match, which one will it be? I mean, till MMS, I don't know. Strongest preview card. <clears> hmm. <throat> is season X, yeah. Strongest preview card. Maybe Blade Dancer from Zeal. Hmm. I don't know. It's it's difficult to be honest. Hmm. Maybe Blade Dancer. Hmm. I don't know. I should. Uh, what are the? Uh, can you can you uh, write me in order the last the last five previews so I can uh, so I can remember them correctly. Please, I will go suicidal buff here. Okay, now, hmm, Zatoshi Kai is gonna be difficult here. So, I need to pair my fifth unbuffed torment against his Hime. And it should be an easy win. And then win by brute force with Master Mystic and Chichis. That's. Even though. <laughs> against Mazamune and Jiang Piao, Torment is great. <laughs> no, I will go with Chichis here. 
Then I will attack with Torment. Yeah. Okay, perfect roll, that's what I wanted. Okay. Torment will be good for his dodges. Chichis has has thorns, but those thorns are not gonna be so effective against uh Mazamune nor Jiankiao. So I sent him here. And Master Mystic is our trump card, is gonna be uh He's gonna try to win by brute force. Okay, we have Mazamune, that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. That sword is bad. I wanted another blue or red. This way, he has a chance, unfortunately. But we're gonna dodge all his, yeah, all his attacks. So maybe, 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 maybe we have a chance. I don't know. Let's see. Let's wait and see. No, 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 no. We don't. Have... Yeah. That's uh, with another maybe. I don't know. That was a, a difficult one. I don't think a team like that can really, really be effective. I missed the form super weird. Uh, tried to suicide buff there, but but missed the blue. Yeah. Okay. So I want something different. Let's try again with Nihans here. Oh. So, let's try a, dif a different team. This, this time, a team with more strategic kind of style. Okay, this way. All that is good for sure. Monozilk, Urakia, Teyu. I think Teyura wins. I think Teyura is really, really great. I think basically all the bards are good. Some of them are the strongest cards in the game. Teyura is great, I think. Yeah. Mm. I will go with Abigor here. Now we have a team that's not very effective as for output, but it's very dangerous as for powers. We have minus damage, Backstab, dodges, fireballs, yeah, it's... I think Teyura is great, to be honest. Rakia also is good, but Teyura probably is the best one of that batch. For my taste, uh, at least. I really like that kind of cards. Yeah, easy win for Abigor, that's cool. Is He's always one of the best Colossi out there. Let's go for ooh. White Cat though. Yeah, I will go with White Cat. White Cat can win against Mastema, I think. Oh, what's that? Oh no no. Okay. Can win against Mastema even with the Okay, against the Kiza should be able to win. Perfect. Another red or yellow. Perfect. Should be a good win. White Kai is another card I really like. I think it gives uh, consistency to Nihans. That's good. Of course, there's a great deal of difference between um, Master League and these lower leagues. Here, everything works. In Master League, it's different. But still, you were the champion again. I will go for... Ooh, but... If I... Hmm, no, no, okay. I will go with hate. Oh no, maybe that was not the great, the best move here. Another red, I need an, a red here. Yeah, we have one, at least. Okay, he has a perfect roll, but yeah, we made a mistake. I made a mistake. Forgot about the criticals. This way, hate is gonna lose. Yeah. No hate, just love and everything will be okay. <laughs> yeah, all you need is love. But now, Torment. 
our tournament should be able to easily win against Furabu. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. That's the perfect roll. I don't think Furago can do anything to beat us. Yeah, he has a great deal of shield, but we're gonna pass through that sooner or later. The bells, can you hear it? Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, Furago. Okay, we won, that's a good one. Even though... Let me see. This team is good, but I will try again with Chichis. I think Chichis is invaluable. I think, I really think, a team like this one can really be effective. Choose my hero. Oh, let's go with Abigor. Great start with Abigor. So, Torment is an evasive hero, great deal of potential, very, very good. Not an easy card, not a card for beginners, that's for sure. But Mass is gonna destroy us. So, it's not a card for beginners, I guess. It's tough to use, and you, you need to be very careful on your pairings with him, with her, but it's gonna be rewarding for uh, great players or expert players, I think. Yeah, against Radames, we don't stand a chance. Oh, we do! Surprise, surprise! I didn't think Abigor could win. That's a good one. Abigor is very good. Zatoshi or Ganso, who is better? I think Ganso is better. Now, Crystal Cat. Hmm. I will go against Crystal Cat. Hmm. Crystal Cat is tough for us. This Frostbite is so dangerous. So I'm gonna sacrifice White Cat. White Cat is gonna, is gonna lose. But I will buff of Stench really a lot. So I will try to buff as much as possible. Okay, very good. And Yads is gonna lose then. And maybe even Ursid is gonna be affected by this great deal of stench. Now Chichis is a monster with stench. And Calypso also. Cards like Chichis and Calypso, especially Calypso, it's a tactical hero with the addition of stench is really dangerous for your opponent. Ooh, choose my hero and there's it. there is hook there. Hmm. So it's a powder deck that changes things. I think Torment is be best against hook. Then my stench will do the, the rest. Maybe Chichis is the most suitable one. Oh, it's coming at me with Ursid. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't want to hit that much against the Berserker. That's best. Oh, Mikile asked me to return to the Master League. Yeah, maybe sooner or later I will. I will do that. These days I'm not playing seriously. But I think Master League is easily reachable now. Much, much, much more than a year ago, let's say. If you have good cards, some seal, and you are a good player, you're gonna reach Master League, that's for sure. Okay, 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 so... Thing is, Calypso is not gonna be good against Hook, but it's gonna be very useful against Yas, just in case, so I will go with Chichis here. And I will try to avoid the yellows, I don't need those. I just need blues and reds. That's a great, great, great role for us. When the game began, we needed like one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was it was rough back then. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, Chuchis is gonna easily win. Just like it was predictable. Very good. I really like this team. Pintus. Oh, yeah. Kenshiro. Ah, I miss old times. Okay, we won again. That's great. So, as you can see, this card is really, really useful. Now, let's try... Let's try something different, maybe. Hmm. Marauder. So maybe. Hmm. I am thinking about a Marauder team with Gemini. Why not? So let's go for Marauders and let's play with the Claw, of course. Why not? The Claw is my favorite card of all time, after all. So, Inatka. I wanna. Yeah, I want a team with <laughs> dodges and different play styles. Let me see. What's another. Oh, maybe. Someone. Oh! Kirillian is good. Good with dodges also. That's good. Let's go with this strange team. I missed the time when I was at least decent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, winner 500. It's a Zill team now. I think. I think, I think, I think, I think. Hmm. I think the Claw is perfect against Abigor. We're gonna dodge and also we're gonna hit with our shocks. Hmm, bad roll. Really bad one. Yeah. Okay, he has perfect roll, so he's gonna win, I think. Even though maybe... Oh. No, 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 he's gonna win. That's bad. Ah, with a good roll we would have won, but... Anyway, what you gonna do? Okay, so now... Hmm. All those cards suffers Kyridian very much, so let's go for it. Now Inatka is very interesting also. Okay, now Chichis. So we need to avoid yellows as much as possible. Ooh, it's a bad roll, but maybe it's enough to beat Chichis. Yeah, he has a perfect roll, but I think, actually, he's gonna lose. Yeah, I think so. He's gonna lose, since Kyridian is all passive, 4 plus resilience, and he does not have what it takes to beat us. No, no, no. Very good. Kyridian is another interesting hero. I'm back. <laughs> Had to eat. Yeah. We're gonna be here for another 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna jump. Okay, let's go for Gemini. Maybe it's redundant to use Gemini in this team. We have a lot of dodgers already, but still. I wanted to try her. Perfect roll, Gemini back in the game. Perfect roll for so sure, but our Gemini is superior. Thanks to resilience and dodge combo. Very good synergy between resilience and dodge. Also, our backstab is going to be useful against so sure. So this game starts well. Now we have a torment with 90 damage. That's it's dangerous, especially since it has in, she has Inspire, so she can trigger two times this blue third, third roll. Mm, let me see. I'm gonna go with Torment here. Torment is gonna be good both in the matchup against Big Daddy and again the mirror match against Torment. Now we have two dodges, now we're gonna activate other two dodges, maybe more. Oh! And a very edge of fireball should be enough. Let me see. Okay, he has a bad roll. So, 12 dodges and also resilience and also backstab. 
Yeah, you needed that third yellow to win. Okay. Very good. Very good win. I'm gonna do something different here. I don't want to use Gemini anymore. Hmm. Let me see. What other buffers are there that can be useful here? Hmm. Torment, I really like it. Yeah. I want to try something. Hmm. Maybe again with Nihans. Maybe we can play something different with Nihans. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, again, death three. Yeah, that's that's okay. Abigor, white cat. Yeah, this team is basically the same we played at the start of this stream, but I want to try it again since we have here a double buffer team that can be very interesting, and I think you guys need to take a look at this type kind of teams again since it's not. Uh, an easy team to to see but it's a good one i think if you play it correctly you're gonna win a lot death three is a great buffer guys it is especially with cards like torment oh perfect roll here i wanted the sword but it was i needed to yeah just use the blue but i think we're gonna win anyway The combination between form and minus damage is always great. Yeah. So, as you can see, you have you have two buffers that can be effective, can or can win against other cards. Also you have a good Colossus and then two tactical cards, Torment and Chi is very good. Now I, I'm gonna sacrifice Death 3 without a doubt. Full sacrifice roll. I I won't even try to beat this monster Kurokage. Not the perfect suicidal buff, but still we're gonna deliver 64. 64 on a card like Torment is enormous. It has a great value. Now, now maybe you can start to see why I chose oh, I chose resilience for torment and not the easy way damage. Damage is good, that's for sure. But this way, it's even better, I think. Now white gun. Yes, Hime Hime with dodge. I think we can beat her. Yeah, that's a good one. Perfect roll. And now, with stanched 30, 8 resilience, 64, backstab, dodge, and fireball, who is gonna stop our torment? I don't think Mazamune can, even with critical. So we're gonna pair our torment against Mazamune, and I think it's an easy win. Yeah. Chichis, of course, is a monster. Two. Hero the champion. Now Hero can beat us since he has this powerful shock. Uh, this shock is great on Hero since uh, it's effective against Dodgers. So I'm gonna go with Chichis here. And I'm gonna probably lose. That's fine. I will try to, to go for a full... Hmm. That's a good roll, but I want a perfect one. Yeah, I have a perfect one, but okay. He's probably gonna beat us anyway. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, now with a good roll, I think Torment can easily beat Mazamune here. We're gonna avoid as much as possible the blue ones and go for fireball and backstab 
the best roll would be five reds and one yellow, I think. That's the most cost-effective roll here. This is a, a perfect roll, but mm, I don't know. I'm I don't know. Since I think it's better with reds. Since oh oh that's a high risk. Yeah, that's a mistake for me. Yeah. So we're gonna lose. But that not because a uh, tor torment was gonna lose, but I made a mistake. I should have kept the blue one. Maybe maybe we have, we still have a chance, but now with this sword here, we've opened up to, uh, yeah, as you can see, I should have kept those blue ones. That's uh, my error. We're, we was gonna easily win this matchup, as I said before. Torment was gonna win. I made a mistake. I thought that the uh, red roll was better, and probably I was right, but I didn't consider the fact that uh, trying to have the best roll will put us at risk to have a bad roll. If you have a perfect roll, you need to consider, even if it's not the best roll for that specific occasion, maybe it's not worth it to re-roll and risk again having a bad one. So that was an error on judgment on my part. Let's go again. I will start again with Abigor. Why not? Thanks for the free man. You're a piece about my mom. Take care, boy. <laughs> yeah. Hi, man. Okay. That's that's the roll against Alud. Oh man! Great. That's great, Franco. <laughs> that's the best roll ever against Abigor. <laughs> Look at that. Great. It's great, man. GG to you. I will send the GG to him. That's... Where is the GG, man? ABC approves. Now Bloodsword. I don't need another lose. But also, yeah, I will go with death three. But this time, not suicidal buffer style. But I will try to win. Yeah, two yellows is what it takes to win. Perfect. That's the perfect roll for us. We will have a barrage of thorns. Of course, we're going to trigger repost, but it's not going to be so uh, dangerous to us since we have resilience and four. We don't care. So death three, as you can see, can win some matchups. It's not always a suicidal buffer, but it has it has potential to win. Yeah. Tick. One, two, three, and four. Very good. Okay, now I will go with White Cup here. Now White Cup is dangerous thanks to Thorns. Can win against Liberated Talender and also Torment. Eglantine is not gonna be thrown in defense. Not no, no way. So, why the great lender in a team without heavy hitters? I don't know. That's probably the best card he had. So, 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 so. ADC, how you been, bro? Yeah, I've been good, but I've been working very hard. So, I didn't have the time to stream, unfortunately. Okay, he can win, of course, with Torment, or maybe, you know what, maybe we should, no, okay, no, no, I will try to win, maybe, yeah, he does not have the Colossus, so, okay, I did, I did it good, with Colossi, maybe, I would have considered playing White Kai as a suicidal buffer here, but without Colossi, Torment is not so effective. Long time no see. Yeah, yeah, I've been out for a week. Sorry. Can we expect a new video at some point? I think it's very interesting. I think, too, it's a very interesting card. I will do everything I can to deliver to you an Eero, an Eero um, evaluation in a, in a video. I'm not guaranteed 
I don't guarantee to you that I will do it um, tomorrow or the day after. I will try it anyway. I'm sorry, but my work is taking... <laughs> is devouring my life, so <laughs> it's... I do what I can. I will do the Friday, the Friday video, that's for sure. But I know, oh, my annual life, the fight. So guys, I will end here. We basically, we lost just one game and that was for um, my mistake, but uh, Torment would have won even that one. So, to sum up, Torment is a good card, really good one. It's not an easy card, it's not a straightforward card that everyone will throw in the mix and just win with it. You need to carefully uh, choose uh, the correct team to player, you need to play her with care, uh, you need to be careful and you need to be um, aware of the fact that she will be very effective with Inspire. Without it, it's gonna be difficult to choose the correct strategy. Torment is one of those cards that you need to play with accuracy and without Inspire it's difficult to have the correct accuracy. So Resilience is, in my opinion, the best seal for her but damage is still mm, probably still as good as Resilience. Maybe it's different the way you, you're gonna play her. I don't think Torment is good because she's a multi-hitter. I think she's good be, be, because she has Fireball, Backstab and Dodge and that's why I chose Resilience here. Just got Mirval, X, Heavy Man, Amni Tips. Yeah, I will... So, let's go find Torment. As for Mirval, okay, I forgot who Mirval is, but, that, but as for the name, I think it's a nods. I don't know, Mirval. I don't know. Can you can you tell me who Mirval is? I forgot. Oh, here he is. Okay, Mirval. So I won't lie to you. Mirval is not a good card right now. This it's an interesting card too. This combination between this strength minus fifty and then the boost on strength plus 50 for H blue is very interesting. So I think the best way to play this card is to play it in a hook deck, in a powder deck. And then you're gonna... I don't know, you're gonna throw something at your opponent that he will not expect. This card is um, great as for the design. I think it's a good design, but it's not as great as numbers. So you need to really um, focus on his strengths and his strengths is this uh, final strength boost that's very good also this hit paired to the strength boost will will help you against um, will help you against scarab and dodges so that's very good i think mirval the best use you can have for mirval is in a hook deck with powder so go for it so guys i will close this frame here and we will see each other um, on Friday, that's for sure, and maybe even before that, if I have the time. Guys, I am Lady C, we will see each other in a while, and for today, I'm out. Bye, guys.